All right, well, it, this has been a long time coming. Finally going to do this video about my uh, movie soundtrack collection on vinyl. All right, I already did the one on, on a CD. So the, here we have the vinyl and we will start right now with A Star is Born here. Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. I do not have this movie on DVD or Blu-ray. And I can't remember if I actually seen the movie or not. There, there we go, we got a very nice skatefold here. I always love it when a when a soundtrack album has a gatefold with the pictures from the movie. All right, great music here. There we go, Barbara Streisand. All right, moving right along. With the next one, which is a 2010 A Space Odyssey. Well, actually, uh, 2010, The Year We Make Contact is the the official title for this movie You're not uh, 2001 but 2000, 2010 the sequel that came out in the 80s I believe it was 82, 83, 84 around there all right score by David Shire single disc set there you go pretty good movie you know liked it I do have this one on uh, blu-ray continuing now with a soundtrack for the miniseries for the uh, against the Wind. I don't know if this was an Australian miniseries or an English one. I believe Australian, but even though it's set in England. All right, it's about pioneers, or rather, uh, country folk. You know, in the in the in the eighteen or seventeen hundreds, I believe. All right, I saw this miniseries way back when, and there you go, some of the. And I remember it fondly. I do not have this. On DVD or Blu-ray though I do want it right here this uh, person that you see here is called John English and he apart from being an actor was also a singer all right and he does sing a, a song here in the soundtrack which is called uh, six ribbons which was a bit of a hit for him got that one at a record store along with this one um, Batman the Prince uh, version for the 1989 movie. I do have the score by Danny Elfman on CD, but this I got um, recently at a record store, the Prince one. Okay. There we go. Some of the titles. It's in excellent condition, as you can see. We go now with one of my favorite uh, science fiction movies and uh, uh, The Black Hole. Here we have a music by John Barry, very good score. Uh, I do have also uh, kind of like a uh, book and record set uh, from the movie of this. So there's two of them, uh, 12 inch long plays for this. But this is a score, a very good score. The Black Hole, uh, Disney film from 1979 about this crew that encounters a spacecraft intent on going into a black hole. Pretty good. Continue now with a very, well, by nowadays, I almost forgot the movie, uh, The Bride. This one is um, based on the the Bride of Frankenstein story, all right, even though not the, the Bride of Frankenstein movie. Here, Sting plays uh, Dr. Frankenstein, and Jennifer Beals of Flashdance fame plays uh, the, the Bride, the creature created by Dr. Frankenstein. It's a bit of a love story here. Pretty good. I do have this one on um, on DVD. As I do The Black Hole and Batman. I did not mention that. And another one I have also on, on DVD is Cat People. One of my absolute favorite movies from the from the 80s. You know, really stylish movie. A sex movie, sexy movie right there with uh, Nastasha Kinski about the people that turn into Panthers. Black Panthers. Really good movie. Uh, some some songs right here. I believe only one uh, by by David Bowie, uh, putting out the fire. The rest of the score here is by uh, Giorgio Moroder, who did a many a score for many a film. Cat people. Classic John Williams. You can't go wrong. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Here, really good. Great gatefold. That shows the mothership there. 
Look at all that. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. And like I said, you can't go wrong with John Williams. I really like it when they have a section there that explains, uh, you know, the, the, the soundtrack itself. You know, some of the, some of the music. It tells you a little bit more background information. Um, and this one, when I bought it, I was not expecting it to include, but it does, thank goodness, the seven inch single that came with the, with the original. You know, after all these years, I didn't expect it to be there, but there it was. It has, um, it's an unusual single because it's got um, the Close Encounters theme on one side and the other side is completely blank. All right, so there's a blank uh, a disc right there. Well, Close Encounters. Another recent acquisition, and yes, I do have the DVD, uh, Conan the Barbarian. Absolutely love this score. This is a great score. Right there by Basil Polidorus. It's a Polidorus, yes, that is his name. Absolutely fantastic score. Really good. Love it. If I were to make a top 10, this would be it. This be, would be... In the top 10, definitely. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sandal Bergman, who starred along with him. All right. Just that first, uh, the, um, the the opening theme, which is the, the Anvil of Crumb. That is just incredible music right there. One of my favorite soundtracks. Now for the competition, I do not have this one on on a DVD, though I did see this one in the movie theater, okay? It's about a, it's a romantic movie about two uh, piano players who are in a piano competition, okay? Original music by Lalu Schifrin, but as you can may imagine, it has a lot of, a, a lot of classical music there. And of course, uh, mostly piano-based of soundtrack. There we go, the competition. Now with this one, this is a, a studio album, studio album by the by the band that Clanid, all right. Um, but uh, as you can see right there, if you recognize that, that's uh, Michael Prade, and this is in fact the songs that were in the television series Robin of Sherwood, the English television series, which is one of my absolute favorite TV series of all time. I'm really glad that I got the soundtrack. It's got all of them, of course. The main theme, Robin the Hooded Man, right there. Really great music here. Really glad to have this. It was, it was really quite a find. We now go, go, now go excuse me, with another one of my favorite movies from the 70s, The Deep. All right. The Deep also, just like Jaws, based on a Peter Benchley novel and made into a successful uh, movie, though not as success successful, not nearly as successful as a Jaws, of course, but still pretty good. I do have this one on Blu-ray, and it, in fact, the Blu-ray looks fantastic. I'm the soundtrack doesn't really do much for me here, you know, but it's got the, that um, uh, the song by Donna Summer, which I I enjoy. You know, I love Donna Summer. There she is. You know, but it, it's uh, there's not much going on in this soundtrack. Robert Shaw, Kathleen Bissett, Jacqueline Bissett, excuse me, and Nick Nolte. All right. What a really good movie. Another one. Super classic, Dr. Shivago. Gatefold. Check that out. All right. Got this, I believe, at a, at a thrift store. Yes. That's when I got online. And and uh, I have only just recently seen the movie on YouTube. I do not have it on, on DVD. It's about a boy, a teenager that um, sails around the world. You know, and there's a love story in there involved. On a, on a, his sailing boat is called The Dove. Gregory Peck, Gregory Peck presents, you know, the actor. It's kind of unusual there. You know, he was becoming a TV producer, or rather a movie producer back then in the 
in the 70s. The absolutely beautiful Deborah Raffin stars in this movie. I wish I had a DVD of this so I could watch it in a proper quality. Or better yet, the Blu-ray. But it does not exist. Okay, Dracula. This is the 1979 version with Frank Langella. You know, going heavy with the, with the romance angle there. And, uh, by the way, this scene never happens in the movie. Okay? I do have the movie on DVD. Pretty good. The, the main thing main theme for Dracula is, is really good. Dracula. Now, Endless Love. Here, Brooke Shields. It's uh, mostly known here for the, for the song by Lionel Richie, of course, of the same name, Endless Love, right there. Really great gatefold. Right there, Brooke Shields in her absolute teenage prime. The song Endless Love is uh, played uh, several times here, here in the same record, you know. It begins here side one, ends side one, and then again at the end of side two. You also have, and usually, I was made for loving you by Kiss right there. I always thought well, that was uh, rather odd here in this movie, but there you go. Endless Love. Great cover there. Another classic from the 80s, Flash Gordon. Original music soundtrack by Queen. Really good. It's a very, it's a rocking, it's electronic. Great. Of course, the main song, Flash Gordon, became a hit for Queen. I do have that one on Blu-ray. And boy, does the, the, the colors do pop out on Blu-ray. Another one that I do also have on Blu-ray is... Forbidden Planet. This is a, a reissue of the soundtrack. All right, a very experimental score, very electronic, which is a and very much ahead of its time. All right, here Forbidden Planet. Got some film notes here in the back that explains how why this uh, move, this uh, soundtrack did not uh, qualify for an Oscar because it was uh, just so so strange. With all of the electronic music, they didn't consider it music at, at the time, only sound effects. All right. But this is one trippy score. Robbie the Robot. Continue now with a movie that I have not seen. The Great Gatsby. You know, I got this at a, at a thrift store. Love it when it has a, a fold-out, you know, a gatefold. With pictures and this uh, this gatefold is in fact unusual because you you retrieve the records from the top you know not from not from the side as you would usually do All right Robert Redford and Mia Farrow I, I I have in fact not even I have not seen the movie and I have not even listened to the soundtrack so I gotta get around to that and last for this part one is uh, the hunger a uh, great movie from the 80s, uh, right there with uh, uh, Catherine Deneuve, uh, Susan Sarandon, and David Bowie. Uh, Catherine Deneuve and uh, David Bowie are vampires in this this movie. This, the, the disc here is a bit scratchy, you know, the, the vinyl, but still listenable. Okay, The Hunger. Well, that's it for part one of, the, of my vinyl soundtrack, so stay tuned for part two. I may have to do it in three parts because I have uh, several of them. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching and so long.